Okay, so the start of week four, I'm here today with Francois Fiedel. Francois works with the International Committee of the Red Cross and put together week four for us. So hello, Francois. Hello, Rachel. How are you? Good, thank you. So the course is going extremely well. Um, loads of amazing discussions happening in the discussion forum we did. We talked all about uh, pre-fitting rehabilitation last week, and we mm -hmm. shared Bob Gailey's new Bob Gailey's books, um, which was great. Yes. Everyone's been enjoying using those. Yeah. So this week we're talking about prosthetics, and what are we talking about this week, Francois? <laughs> This is about prosthetics, yes. The, the, the work of our uh, main collaborator doing physio physical rehabilitation for amputees, so the orthoprosthetists. So we are focusing on their work and, uh, and understanding their work, which I think it's, it's the main issue and the main uh, point of this week. Mm. Ah, so that's good. Uh, so we've talked, we've talked quite a lot up to this point about the importance of interdisciplinary team working and understanding the role of the prosthetist. So it would be good to go through that and understand more about their role. Um, and then I think, do we go on to talking about gait analysis as well? Yes, yes, of course, but it's also part of the multidisciplinary team. Uh, the gait analysis will be bored. The, the physiotherapist will not be in charge of, of this, but uh, we will have to understand all these uh, steps and to participate in it. Uh, I think it's, a, it's really a key issue as well. Um, the, the gait analysis, of course, it's, it could be done by the multidisciplinary, multidisciplinary team, but uh, as well with the, um, the, um, the doctors, the orthoprosthetist, all the people involved in the, in the multidisciplinary team. Uh, the key issue is to, to have a nice gait and that the patient could walk really, the user could walk really well. So what are the so this yeah. week if we're we're learning about prosthetics and gait analysis what what are, would your advice be to the participants this week to make sure uh, what knowledge would you encourage them to make sure they have at the end of this week? Uh, it's probably why. Well, I don't know, but it's probably one of the week where the, the, the physiotherapist will not be that comfortable uh, in all the subject because it's not physiotherapy. Uh, we're talking about other, um, other professions as well, and uh, it could be completely new for uh, a lot of participants. Um, the work of the orthoprosthetist is amazing. They are doing really a, a job which is, which is increasing, which is impressing, uh, uh, adjusting, fabricating the device. And I think the main goal is to get to be interested of what is not only physiotherapist, but uh, physiotherapy, but uh, to, to be interesting on all the work of the others. So how these devices are fabricated, which kind of, uh, with which type of material, what are the advantage of this, of that, uh, the process of fabricating these devices, which are really not easy to do, uh, which is uh, an artistic work as well as a technical work. And, uh, and to consider these professions as uh, really with all the respect that we should, we should consider it. Uh, they are colleagues of us and uh, without uh, a good prosthesis, we cannot do a good rehabilitation. So it's very, very important. Yeah, very well said, I think. And I think on that note, I would really encourage, so we have some prosthetists, orthotists and prosthetists on this as participants on the course. And I'd really encourage um, those people to get involved in the discussions forum, discussion forums, particularly this week, to educate us, to educate all the other physiotherapists around on prosthetics and help us to have a really good understanding so that we can work better together for better outcomes for our clients. Yes, and, um, and the second part, which is the, the, the get deviation on this analysis, as well, it's not an easy topic. Uh, it's more than, than having a study on exercise therapy. So it's an analysis of uh, get default, which could be 
from the device, but which could be as, as well from the user side. And, uh, and again, it's a, sub a topic that in a week time, you can just uh, yeah, get the surface of it. So uh, it's really to also get involved with other colleagues in, in, this, uh, uh, in this work. And it's just a start, I think, for all of us. Yeah. Yeah, so we just need just to have a basic understanding of the gait analysis and gait deviation so that you can take those forward into clinical practice and, and work with your colleagues to learn more. So, yeah, I think this week, I think it, there's going to be, we've had three really heavy weeks, and I think this week it's quite focused um, and pro possibly yeah. a little less work. So hopefully that people will be able to take a breather and have a good understanding this week. And, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing everyone in this just discussion forums and we're looking forward to learning from our prosthetists on the course um, so yeah thanks very much Francois for explaining your week I think possibly we'll see you again in week six um, yeah um, um, so thank you for having a chat to us today is there any other messages you'd like to leave the participants with um, no 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 just uh, good luck for the week and uh, and uh, yes, to to try to get all the information possible aside of of the training to get all the information possible. Yeah. Now that's good. Good week. Thanks very much, Francois. Thank you. Bye, Rachel.